What's up guys, it's Moose from the future. So, just so you know, I did change my name. I wanted to change it before I got too much content out there. Uh, I, the, the original name wasn't really working for me, so I wanted to change it uh, before I got too much out there and people were trying to look up six different names for it. So, yeah, the new the new name will be B Pearl underscore Z71. Shalom guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be taking the air dam off the uh, 2015 Chevy Colorado Z71. So that will be, that will be the adventure of today. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to start with this, you have to start out with, I believe this is a T15 torque bit. And uh, let me double check, yeah, T15, because you gotta remove these little star guys here to get access to another plastic panel piece under here. And uh, as we go, I'll kind of do a step-by-step. -step. Um, I know a lot of videos out there on the step-by-steps. What the biggest problem is, is it's hard to see what's going on when you're doing all this stuff. So I'm gonna do my best to get good footage of me doing it. Okay, so we got the uh, wheel well panel cover removed. Now we're gonna have to remove this bolt here, and there's three bolts underneath here that are your little star, your little seven, T15, sorry. Um, the same one that we used for removing these is gonna be down here. So they're right under here, let's see. I'll get a shot of them. Um, as I'm taking them off and everything, so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. But they're just right under here. We'll remove these, and it'll remove this whole plastic piece here. Um, that bracket there is a seven millimeter, that nut right there, and uh, that should be able, uh, with the seven millimeter, you'll take off that one, and then the rest are kind of up underneath. So, all right, let's get on to the next step. <laughs> take this piece out so you can actually gain access to the screws and the bolts that are holding this on. Um, just as a heads up, Chevy designed this to be an easy take off. Unless you have one of these toolkits with you out wherever you are and hopefully you have everything in there that you need, it is not easy. All right, so we've got a bunch of these bolts taken off so now we actually have some movement and there's just pieces here here and over here you can't really see them sorry but they're these guys that go all along here and there's about I think if I remember right like 15 to 18 of them so we're gonna undo this bolt next and what this is gonna allow me to do is kind of bend this piece that the next one's attached to because this one right here specifically is in a really weird spot so I have to undo this to be able to pull this down or you can undo these two I'm gonna try just undoing this one first to see if I can only undo one bolt instead of like two more so I'll undo that. Hopefully it'll allow me to pull it down a ways and be able to access this one and this one here. And then I should be able to get my hands up in here enough to undo those ones. Hey, can you give me the socket? No. Well over to this side because I figured I was under the vehicle. I'll try and go as far as I can before I have to come to the other side and go through the whole same process of removing this piece just over here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until the end to put these pieces back in. I'll warn you, it is a little tight up there underneath, both with your hands and stuff. Um, my recommendation is once you get these guys just loose using a, a socket or something like that, or the attachment that'll hold your uh, your T15, go ahead and once they're loose, go up there with your hand and just hand spin them the rest of the way. Um, I found that to be the easiest and, and they'll come out a lot faster. Um, all you gotta do is like a couple of turns with the uh, 
the ratchet and it'll, it'll start to loosen up and then just go with this. And then once you get just probably right before this toe hook area, go to the other side and start your process. Oh, there she goes. And that is the last bolt. Now I did just find out through a little trial and error, you do not have to undo this bolt here. You can kind of just push it up and out of the way and it should give you enough room. Got these, this bracket here. And um, when you take this out, there's another one down here. Take both of them out. And it makes it so you can just pull down on this so that you can access two of the screws that are up in here. They're really hard to get to. So just pull this tab down. Yeah, you're bending your bumper a little bit, but I promise it's gonna bend right back because you're gonna actually put these bolts right back in. Let's throw these bolts back in and uh, step out from underneath and see what it looks like now that it's all the way off. So, all right, so we finally got it off. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. It definitely gave it quite a bit of clearance. So I definitely think it looks a lot better than it did. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up all the, the finishing pieces on it and uh, get, it all, get it all cleaned up and then we're gonna go get some proper shots of it. So more, uh, now, bring me that horizon. <laughs>